And here's something else that does not quit. The coronavirus, not the one from Wuhan. This is another coronavirus. But interestingly, or ominously, it was flagged by scientists in Wuhan. They're calling it Neocov. How is this one different from the Wuhan virus? You see, coronavirus does not refer to one virus. It refers to a group of viruses. It's a type like SARS-CoV-1 or SARS-CoV-2 or the MERS-CoV, the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, MERS. These are all coronaviruses. Neocov is another one. And just to be clear, this is not a new virus. It was first discovered in bats from South Africa. So why are we talking about it now? Because the scientists in Wuhan have flagged two big concerns. Number one, it could start infecting humans. One mutation, that's all it needs. One more mutation and Neocov could start infecting humans. Concern number two, the mortality rate. Neocov is apparently a mix of SARS-CoV and MERS-CoV. It is highly transmissible, like SARS-CoV, and extremely deadly, like MERS-CoV. Reports say one out of three patients could die. That's a mortality rate of around 33%. I'll put that number in context for you. The Wuhan virus has a mortality rate of 1.5% now. That's after all the vaccinations and boosters, 1.5. In 2020, it was around 4 to 5%. Neocov could have a mortality rate of 33%. So it is highly transmissible and dangerous. I know this might sound scary to many of you. That was our first reaction as well. Are we in for another disaster? A virus from a bat, scientists from Wuhan, and the month of January. We have bad memories associated with all three. But now is not the time to panic. Now is the time to test ourselves, to see if we have learned something from the last two years. For starters, see how credible this report is. It was published by scientists at the Wuhan University. Is it peer-reviewed? It isn't. And that should be a top priority right now to get more experts to analyze the findings. We need as many brains working on this as possible. Here's another question. Has the World Health Organization seen this report? Yes, they have. Here's what a WHO official had to say, and I'm quoting, animals, particularly wild animals, are the source of more than 75% of all emerging infectious diseases in humans. Whether the virus detected in the study will pose a risk for humans will require further study. So the WHO wants more research, more data to decide on what to do next. And this is where the world needs to be more proactive. Last time we let China take the lead. We let the WHO formulate our response. And we all know how that turned out. So this time we must push for more transparency. How was this report made? Why were the scientists from Wuhan researching this virus in the first place? What kind of research are they doing? All of these questions need to be answered. And this is not about panicking. This is about a science-based response, something China did not have the last time. Right now, three groups are involved in this study, China, Russia, and the World Health Organization. We need to expand this circle because Neocov has the potential to be deadly. Like I said, it only needs one more mutation, one more mutation, and it could jump species. So here's what we need, transparency and preparedness. Our first priority must be studying Neocov, understanding the nature and risks of this virus. At the same time, we must prepare an effective playbook. What should we do if the virus does jump species? Do we go back to lockdowns and flight bans? Or do we have more logical and targeted strategies? The world is still paying for China's lies from 2019. We must ensure that there is no repeat in 2022. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.